Hello Aries, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and today we are going to do a weekly reading for upcoming week which is July 4th to July 10th. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is a general reading so take the messages that resonate and drop the rest. And thank you so much for being here, for spending time with me and liking, commenting and of course subscribing. Thank you so much. Alrighty, Aries, what is coming for you this week? Oh, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles and Five of Wands. And at the bottom I'm going to take the card that resonates with you the most and the message from Universe. Oh la la, alrighty. Interesting chariot right i think lately there is a lot of message regarding mindset and i think i saw actually a lady in a shop the other day and where it was stating mindset is everything and i i think i can't stress enough if we knew how much mind influences where we act what we do how is our life how we see things we would probably think different. We would probably think about what we think a slightly bit different and maybe more responsible, right? Um, and Chariot is definitely talking about discipline, dr drive, the inner drive, the inner drive for success and knowing that there will be um, things that you can't, can't influence. But what you can do is how you react to things, right? Things happen in life and stuff happens, right? But how you react, how you control your mind and how you um, control the situation dictates the outcome. Absolutely. You know the good and the bad, right? And you know how to control if you can. If you can control your inner mind, if you control the ego, um, not just control it. It's kind of like managing more like, right? And this is the drive that is so needed. And it's uh, look how... The cherry is actually coming to you. It's literally looking in your face and it's right directly. And when you see a message like that, which is right direct at your face, it means right now. This message is important right now. If you can't control your mind, someone else will. And you might not like it, right? Okay, so Chariot is leaving the castle behind. He's going into the unknown. But... He has the knowledge, he has the belief and faith that he, with his mind, that is strong tool. It is, mind is a tool indeed. With this tool, he can achieve anything. He can protect, look at the protective shield in front of him. He's going to be protected, right? And with this kind of marching in, wow, Aries, I wonder where you're going. It feels kind of kind of journey here there is a very fresh energy coming in with three of cups it could be for some of you guys could be celebration like marriage or uh, coming together with family or like-minded people but at the same time as you can see the cups being lifted up right it's kind of uplift the emotionally uplift up emotional uplifting happening and it's really great it this kind of feels like there is you have dumped, you have dropped the old past. You have dropped uh, the past regrets and all the negativity. And you feel so much lighter, really much lighter. You literally, your energy is much higher here. It's really, you are working very st strongly and really hard on your focus, on your mind and how, you, how you're going ahead. And it is definitely bringing in results, such as um, uplift, okay? Um, for some of you, you might actually find people that are on your uh, wavelength and you feel like you belong somewhere there. Wow, interesting. Ace of Cups, righty. So there is, for some of you, you could actually be joining some sort of group or team or, team or some sort of like-minded souls as to say that is bringing in this purity it kind of brings brings you as well this focus and purpose and it really helps you to be this strongly driven person it kind of feels that 
you have dumped so much old stuff and it's like as if like new life is starting and you're not rushing in not this time definitely not as you have as well there is a lot of new relationships coming in with clean and clear intentions and you are really taking a um, real careful approach because knight of pentacles unlike other knights is taking step by step right if you're starting new business the knight of pentacles will make sure that legalities are right all the documents are correct everything is in place and even though it takes time and it takes uh and it takes a real step by step approach he does not procrastinate which is brilliant he look at the the ground is ready for the seeds to be sown and it's ready to grow. There's some sort of project happening. Something is man growing into manifestation that will later develop into something great. Um, it might be something to do with your work quite a lot. As well as you might actually be kind of heading onto something completely different that you've ever done before. Hence you have this kind of five of wands situation. Right? Five of wands. Look. The ones are touching one another, not the person. But it is, there's an exchange of energies. There's an exchange of unpleasantries. And it could be that you are kind of feeling that you've been um, misunderstood. Okay, you might feel that you have to explain what you do and why you're doing it. And hence you have this situation. I'm going to clarify this one here. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, it feels like. You are ready to leave some past behind. But that past is clinging onto you. Some people doesn't want, do not want to let you go. They are comfortable with your position that you had before because they can use it and abuse it. For some people, they don't want you to succeed because they like you in the place, in their place. They want you to stay, right? It doesn't mean that you have to leave actual physically, right? But it is that it could be a new job you're taking on. Therefore, you might be becoming a different person, might earning more money. You, and they are scared that you might not fit in. And people don't want different. They want that everyone stays the same for a lot of people. And interestingly as well, what we have, uh -huh, of course, and there's been serious words being said, um, maybe not to your face straight away. But there is some upset and I think you might feel that I'm going my way and I'm going to progress. Why are you dragging me down? Look, that happens. And not everyone has your interest at heart. And sometimes you have to say thank you for being in my life and let them go. And that's why I was saying there's a feeling of lightheartedness that you have dropped and... Um, and dropped some things, including people, from your life. And they maybe did great by the time being, right? You maybe had good friends or uh, they were good advisors or whatever. Um, but maybe if you can avoid, avoid or minimize their contact, because that will otherwise drag you down. And it's you're not going back. You're going forward. Absolutely. All right, Aries, is this resonates with you of course thumbs up for me thank you so much i'm gonna pull a couple cards from the angel symbols see what they what they have to say for you for upcoming week ah yes these three are coming out Alrighty. yes the journey you are definitely heading for a heck of a journey there but you're not scared mm -mm. you're actually well prepared and you're not like macho, macho uh, kind of energy. You're real. I'm doing it. And I'm really comfortable and confident I can achieve step by step. Like Knight of Pentacles. Literally step by step. It's really calm, mature energy here is going. And well, the things are changing. And you feel that world is your oyster. And it feels as well that universe got your back. Whatever you decide. When your intentions, what you're doing is clean and clear. Universe got your back. Uh -huh. the, you know what this means? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cutting cutting off the negativities. Cut, cutting off those negative energies, negative influences. And like or not, the negativity 
is very contagious, right? So don't be shy <laughs> to cut them off because if they don't respect your future, guess what? They don't have a place in your future. Aries, a couple of cards from messages from angels. See what they... Oh, this one's coming through. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Um, Archangel Michael, I'm with you. Giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. Um, I really like when my Archangel Michael comes through. It is something... Sometimes when you need the courage and he will kind of nudge you and push you towards changes or action and proaction and help you with communication as well. But it's definitely helping you to be protected from negativity, from the road ahead. And it really gives you very strong, strong energy to go ahead on whatever you want to do. It feels like there is a real kind of real kind of change happening here. You are made your mind up and you're going for it. No one or nothing is going to stop you. Alrighty. You have a gift for working with young people. And your divine purpose involves helping, teaching or parenting children. For some of you, if you are if you have children, that definitely is important that you are your actions, the way you live your life, you do you are like an example to them, right? But sometimes this card as well is talking about um, being childlike, being light-hearted, and having that wonderful, everything is great, everything is interesting kind of attitude towards life, sometimes it reminds us this card. Wow, Aries, I really hope you have a great week. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye-bye.